Safety Net Keeps Many Americans from Falling into Poverty Census Shows by Stateline.org, November 12, 2014. And this is the Level 9 article. Washington. New numbers measuring poverty in America show the power of government programs to keep households out of poverty. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, the government agency that counts the country's population. More than 50% of senior citizens in the U.S. would fall below the poverty level without the monthly Social Security checks they receive. Instead, just 14.6% do. Food stamps cut the rate of poor people of all ages by about 10%, and even more among those under 18. The number of children living in poverty goes down by more than a quarter thanks to tax credits, many of which help the working poor. The poverty level was $23,624 a year for an American family of four in 2013. A family living with less is considered poor. The poverty level is based solely on income, but the supplemental poverty measure released this month factors in government help. This measure adjusts for the value of help from programs such as temporary assistance for needy families, also known as welfare, social security, and food stamps. These and other federal programs are called the safety net. By the numbers. The number also factors in the cost of living and medical cost in different areas of the country. In expensive areas such as Honolulu, Hawaii, Washington, D.C., and parts of California, with high rents and real estate costs, a family earning $30,000 a year or even a bit more than that is considered poor. The official rate of Americans living below the poverty level in 2013 was 14.6% or 45.8 million U.S. citizens. The supplemental poverty rate was higher at 15.5%, equal to 48.7 million Americans. While it is difficult to tell how much the government programs reduce poverty in each state, it is possible to calculate to what extent which people in each state benefit. 13 states and the District of Columbia were poorer after government help was factored into the poverty rate than they were under the official number. California had the biggest difference. The other states were Hawaii, New Jersey, Florida, Nevada, Maryland, Virginia, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Connecticut, Alaska, New York, Illinois, and the District of Columbia. Poverty rates were lower in 26 states under the supplemental measure than under the official number. New Mexico, Mississippi, Kentucky, West Virginia, Montana, Idaho, South Dakota, and Oklahoma had the biggest differences. The Census Bureau's numbers show how much the different programs help reduce poverty and calculate what the poverty rate would have been without the help of government programs. Without Social Security, the rate of poverty among all Americans would have been nine percentage points higher tax credits, and food stamps. National school lunch programs reduced the number of children in poverty by one percentage point. Even small benefits helped. The Low Income Home Energy Assistance Program, which pays households an average of about $500, made a dent. Tax credits are a powerful anti-poverty measure. The most well-known is the Earned Income Tax Credit, EITC. The credit for low to moderate income working singles and couples added up to more than $65 billion last year. It's a refundable credit, so taxpayers can get cash back if their taxes are less than expected. Many states have similar credits that are connected to the federal tax credit, but are not included in the federal data. Mississippi claimed more than $1 billion from the EITC. Mississippi taxpayers who received the credit got an average of $2,817 compared to the average for all U.S. taxpayers of $2,300. Taxpayers in Vermont had the lowest average payment at just under $1,900. The effect of benefits on a state's local poverty rate largely, largely depends on the number of residents of the state who receive it. For example, nearly one in four residents of West Virginia is on Social Security. Last year, West Virginia received a total of $524 million in Social Security payments, or $282 per capita. Only one in 10 residents of Alaska received Social Security. In Alaska, Social Security payments totaled $97 million, or $133 per capita. The benefits of food stamps also vary by state. States where a high percentage of the population is enrolled, such as Mississippi, saw more than $330 in food stamp payments per capita. In Wyoming, it was less than $100 per capita.